Slime dogs, snot otters, and mud puppies, <laughs> Detroit Research Program. Since 2006, the Detroit Zoo has monitored mud puppies in the Detroit River tracking them to, be, to better understand their, their population size and health. The Detroit Zoo also hosts a mud puppy palooza annually at their Belle Isle Natural Zoo, Nature Zoo. Here are some pictures of amphibians at the Detroit Zoo. Something that I'm working on currently is the amphibian conservation rocks. It encourages families to paint amphibians in the rocks together. Children will hide them for others to find in the hopes that others will post online where they found their painted rock, and then they will rehide it for others to find. CrowdWatch USA is a citizen science scientist program developed by the National Geographic Society to assist scientists in collecting long-term data on the nation's frogs and toads. I became the youngest, young, the youngest certified CrowdWatch member through the Detroit Zoo's training program. Here are some ideas I have with inspiring the next generation. Kids and teens are interested in tech like Snapchat, YouTube, video games, and apps. To reach them, conservationists need a larger social media presence on those platforms. Make conservation fun. Plan hands-on experiences with live amphibians at nature centers and zoos. Make business connections with eco-friendly brands and trends like bracelets and metal straws. Zoos can create programs to assign kids as eco-heroes or symbolically adopt specific amphibians or assign kids roles in amphibian crew. For example, Stealian Crew, Salamander Squad, or Frog Force. Zoos can build an army for amphibians one kid at a time. We need, we need fundraising TV ads featuring at-risk amphibians rather than cute furry animals. There are more than sentimental reasons to save our amphibians. Here are some cool tools that I've realized to help us save frogs. The frog log is an effective, simple to use invention that solves a problem for swimming pool owners. The Cradle Pool Escape Net is designed to allow frog frogs an escape room for a pool, spa, fountain, or pond. Here is a frog seen, out, seen climbing out of a drain using an amphibian ladder designed by the British Herp Society to help frogs, toads, salamanders, and newts escape roadside gully pots. Lastly, I'd like to say thank you to the ACR Steering Committee in Howard for recognizing me for my work with amphibian conservation.